So there's been a couple of updates to the beta, which I haven't talked about because yesterday I actually had a day off. Yeah, I know a video still went out, but that was because it was done the day before. But I actually had a day with the family and went and saw Thor Love and Thunder. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. No, only kidding. So the barbershop is now in the game. Still not working particularly cleanly because, well, firstly, I'm not even sat on a chair. And secondly, it's definitely not interacting properly with druids, which we'll get onto in a minute. But if you're wanting to change from female to male or male to female, that is now available and that is working. As you can see, female night elf into a male night elf. I'll go back to female though. Looks much better. I mean, most of the things you can do are fairly obvious, like being able to change your face, being able to change your hairstyle, being able to change your hair colour, which is very important. And we'll get onto why in a minute. Markings, skin colour. Yeah, you can just basically customise your character as you would on the character creation screen. But if there was anything you didn't like over time, you can now change it. One of the biggest things about the barbershop is actually changing your hair colour as a night elf druid or changing your skin colour as a tauren. Now, what this is actually meant to do is change the colour of your cat and bear forms. If we go with a very milky coloured face here, it should change our cat and bear, but it's absolutely not. No matter what skin colour or hairstyle for night elf I pick, it does not affect cat or bear form. So that's a bit of a bummer, but overall the barbershop is in and obviously that will change without a doubt. Because here, as you can see, are all the different customization options for bears and all the customization options for cats. And if you're interested, I'll put this article in the description below because it actually tells you what color combo you need to do on your human form or your, your night elf and tauren form, whatever you want to say to then achieve each different type of bear and cat. The other little bit of news is a, a bit of a... I'm not going to say it's a strange one because it did change historically. I think it was around Cataclysm or something like that anyway, but let's just have a look at that quickly. So in Cataclysm, the Blood Death Knight's talent known as Hysteria was renamed to Unholy Frenzy and moved to the Unholy Talent Tree. Renaming it in Wrath of the Lich King Classic is likely for inclusivity, as the medical term for hysteria has a controversial history. I'm not worried too much about the definition of it. All I want to tell you is that it's changed. And as you can see here on our 70 DK, Unholy Frenzy is now in place of hysteria. It does exactly the same thing, still the same cooldown, like everything's identical. As I say, all it is is they've just renamed it from hysteria to Unholy Frenzy. Not big news, I know, but if you was looking and you know you're on the you get on the beta today or something like that, and you're like, oh, everyone keeps talking about hysteria, where is it? It's not there anymore. It Well, it is, but just different name. And other than the news, I'll just give you a real quick beta update if you've not been lucky enough to actually get on the beta. There is still lots of bugs, but they are slowly being ironed out. There's some zones that are just not even questable. You just can't get past certain quests, which means you can't actually get the following quests that come after them which can be a little bit frustrating at times. There's a lot of things that don't make sense, which I am actually going to cover one of them in a separate video, which should hopefully come out in the next day or two, and that's all about heroic dungeons. But overall, I've done most dungeons all the way from 70 to 80. I've even done heroic now. There's no big glaring issues in terms of five-man PvE content that I've seen so far. Most of it revolves around the questing experience. I'm looking forward to actually getting into Knacks and being able to test out this tuned difficulty of Knacks that they've done. We know it's only increased health and increased damage, but it will still be interesting to see how it all comes together. And that's about it. It was just a quick one with a bit of an update for the barbershop and the uh, hysteria change. I didn't see the need to go into all the details around the customization options. Once you get on your character, you'll be able to have a look, a play about, and see what look you like best. All I like to do is just point out the things that are not working rather than the things that are working, because technically it should be a shorter list. And the only problems I can find with the barbershop so far to sex change is actually free. I believe there should at least be a cost involved there, and changing hair colour on night elves and skin colour on taurens isn't affecting druid forms. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Roll the outro. There's lots of ways you can support the channel to keep me here putting out World of Warcraft content and covering all future MMOs. Consider joining the channel as a member. You get access to emotes. Everyone will know you're a member when you comment on future videos because you get a nice icon next to your name. And you get access to members only videos, which I'll be putting a lot of on the channel throughout the year. Additionally, there's a Patreon link in the description as well. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you on the next one.